Customization is based on the inspection of the SWF file you submit to UGN Games. Every media should be defined as an instance of movie clip and placed in a dedicated frame named UGN Media. Place it at the end of your timeline. Every customizable media should have a specific name following this structure. You also need to define an icon for your game. Define a movie clip instance named UGen Icon in the frame UGen Media. It should contain instances of customizable media in order to create an auto generated icon for your game. To have an auto generated screenshot for your game, create a frame named UGen Screen containing instances of customizable media. For a detailed tutorial, visit this web page. Let's save the file and upload it to UGen Games. Now I'm going to upload my game to ugengames.com. This is the second step, game preview. We can check that the game is working in the UGN Games player. We can also view the game screenshot and icon extracted from the SWF file. You can now see that the customizable graphics and sounds have been extracted. I have to choose a name for every customizable media. This is the third step, game submission. I have to fill in a simple form describing the game. The last step is game publishing. I must agree to the terms and tick the two boxes. Now my game is going to appear in the latest games section on the home page. Here it is. As you can see, the game is now customizable. The players can change the character or even use their own pictures. Check out our other video for an example of game customization.